In Onatrix Maya version 4 beta, we have a new way of collapsing multiple nodes together while retaining the way they are evaluated procedurally called boxing and unboxing. So I have a furball here with a bunch of operators and above hair from guides, these four operators just do some procedural styling on the hair. So we have a frizz, curl, length and the change width operator at the very top. All of these are applied on hair, which is created using hair from guides. And before we could already right click and bake these operators together so they would be a single operator. But this operator lost the procedural nature and uh, once it's baked, it would only contain the detail that was existing when you bake the nodes. So now we also have a way to convert these four operators into one single operator, which internally contains and evaluates all four of these. So if I right click, you see this new box option here. And if I click this box option, we have a new node called groom and nothing changed in the viewport because this groom node still applies all of those operators together on top of her hair. And if I go to hair from guides and I change the hair count, you can see that this groom node still applies all of those effects that we previously boxed onto the new hairs. I can also do things like, for example, copy and paste this uh, whole node between shapes or even within the same shape. So as you see, I have two groom nodes and they do exactly the same thing. If I turn this off, we are turning off essentially all four of those operators at the same time. So this node behaves just like any other node and you could bake it or you could collapse it. Or you could change its uh, caching behavior and things like that. There are also a number of parameters inside, but we will cover this in another tutorial. I'm just going to get rid of the other copied node. If you have previously boxed a node, you could always right click and unbox it. And this way you get the original nodes back. So this is a very non-destructive way to organize your operator stack. And this plays into much more efficient workflows, which we will discuss in the future videos related to the new version 4 of Ornatrix for Maya.